Today we are going to spend a few minutes talking about deploying Microsoft Office. That's the traditional Word, PowerPoint, Excel, Outlook, and Link through an Office 365 subscription. In my dealings with customers, there's been a lot of confusion around the new model for delivering the Office products. And uh, today I'd like to sort of set the record straight, discuss some of the benefits, discuss some of the deployment options, and how you can get value out of this software that Microsoft provides. So all of the questions that I get from our customers center around one of three things. So the first is, is the, the new licensing model. That can be uh, a little bit difficult to comprehend and hopefully I can make some sense of that uh, today. Um, also about the deployment methodology and technology, there's a lot of questions I hear from organizations about the new click to run technologies and I'd hope to address um, how that can benefit your organization. And then the last thing is just to highlight some of the key productivity, collaboration capabilities that are delivered through the platform that your users expect and can be more productive in using. So the first is the licensing model. Obviously Office 365 Pro Plus is delivered through a subscription model. Um, that's per user per month. That has a number of advantages for both the end users and administrators. So the first is end users have the rights to install Office on up to five PCs or Macs, five tablets, and five mobile devices. That's a great benefit to our employees um, to be able to use these productivity tools regardless of if they're working remotely or on the road or in our corporate office. Secondly, from an administrator perspective, this new licensing model makes it much easier for us to reclaim licenses, to stay current, to assign licenses for people who have left to new people coming in. Uh, no longer do we have to do massive software audits and, and inventories of where our licenses reside and whom with. So the next piece is, is sort of the deployment technologies. I get a lot of questions from our customers on how to properly deploy Office 365 Pro Plus. And really, Microsoft's reduced a lot of barriers to make it simpler, easier, and, and much more robust from a deployment standpoint. They still support the traditional deployment methodologies that you have today, but now they reach into some other areas that make it much easier for end users to self-service and get these productivity tools regardless of device. So just to discuss the de first deployment methodology, it can be deployed simply through the portal. So as an end user, I can go in, manage my own software, manage my installs across all of my devices. And the click to run deployment technology means that it streams instantly and I can begin using the productivity tools right away. So uh, as soon as I begin the install, within minutes, I can start authoring a document in Word. Um, so no more waiting for that install to complete, no more reboots, automatically streaming right to my PC and I can begin to be effective. The second means for deploying is a, a common way to deploy Office is through a, a standard image that you offer to your laptops and to your employees. And Office 365 through the deployment toolkit still supports that methodology. So you can uh, make that a part of your base install and users can activate that software, not through a license key, but through their standard business user credentials that they use every day to log into systems in your environment. And then the last thing is using common deployment tools to push these products out. So you can certainly use System Center, Case, any other deployment methodology to extract that package and push it out to the users through your normal deployment fashion. So again, a lot more flexibility in how you reach end users and how you deploy software out, um, but still the same administrator controls and management that you want and need in place for those types of users. This opens up a, a lot of opportunities for how we deploy to remote users with uh, PCs and desktops that aren't on our corporate domain. Uh, the last thing I wanted to highlight, and really this is the crux of why you should consider Office 365 Pro Plus, are the new productivity tools and new capabilities that the platform provides. When you combine these productivity tools with the great benefits offered by uh, Microsoft OneDrive for Business, um, now you really have a killer combination. You've got unlimited storage space, your administrators get out of managing backups and restores of user drives and home drives, um, you've got collaboration benefits where Users can simultaneously edit documents and that will lock at the sentence level rather than check in, check out, and sort of the previous panes with that. Um, and, and you've got version history, right? Backups, recycle bins. It becomes end users that manage these shared files and manage this content. And you free your administrators up, your storage, your operational resources to do other things. So that's another key benefit. The last piece I wanted to address is updates. Um, one of the great things about installing through the portal is Microsoft manages that update process. 
and not just for you, for thousands of organizations that are on this platform. They vet, thoroughly test, updates to the office stack, and that gets rolled out automatically month by month if you choose to have it done in that manner. Um, th that's a great benefit to be on the latest and greatest version of the technology, never being three years removed from the last version. Um, so that, that, that's sort of that evergreen feel for how software is delivered and getting the most current updates in your users' hands. Um, some organizations aren't comfortable with that, and Office Pro Plus provides the means and the controls to manage updates. So it, it's a little different than the standard way of managing updates, but you can still control when updates reach your user's desktop, how they get tested and vetted before they do that. You have the capability and availability to roll back to specific version numbers. It's always streaming that delta in the latest bits of updates and new capabilities and new features. All of those capabilities are really driving people to the Office 365 Professional Plus platform. And I've seen too many organizations that haven't realized or recognized these benefits when they already own the software. So there's great ways to distribute that software, great use cases for using it, um, and, and really what we're talking about is a happy, more productive workforce uh, by getting these tools into their hands on their terms.